Brad Garlinghouse had some very scathing words to Gary Gensler. I'm gonna cover that. You're gonna to wanna to hear this. Uh, but first we have Coinbase officially sues the SEC and FDIC, accusing federal regulators of trying to cut out the crypto industry. And who uses Coinbase as their custodian? BlackRock. So the SEC, they might have to pay up, especially for this one, because BlackRock is massive and you already know my stance on that. All right, we also have, um, last month we had US government selling Bitcoin, I think around 4,000 Bitcoin, which is worth $256 million, I think. So, which is nothing uh, compared to the grand scheme of thing, especially when you have BlackRock and all their friends buying up Bitcoin. And I think like last week, there were no outflows from BlackRock, which is good, whatever. I, I think right now we all know we are in a bull market. I'm gonna cover that more. But also we had German selling. We also had Mt. Gox distribution fears. And we also had minor capitulation, which is totally fine. We are still in a massive bull market. Okay, moving on to our main story, we have Brad Garlinghouse. Now, who is he? He's the CEO of Ripple. And he had this to say. Uh, okay, this is from his Twitter account. Absolute nonsense coming from Gary Gensler today. And this slander about all crypto execs going to jail from a man who completely missed FTX and actually cozied up to Sam Bakeman fried and wasn't even invited to the Department of Justice announcement about Binance as they were kicking Binance out of the United States. If he was really working for the American people, as he says, uh, he would have been fired a long time ago, Gary or Gensler will cause Biden to lose the election. Now, here's the interesting thing that kind of, I don't, I don't fully understand. Maybe you guys can leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. Brad Garlinghouse, he is a member of the World Economic Forum. And if you don't know anything about the World Economic Forum, these people are evil. They're super evil. Like they want nothing good for society and the world abroad. So it makes me wonder like what is, is, is um, Garling House's plan for even saying this right now? Part of me thinks that it is because uh, BlackRock, they are the gatekeepers uh, for, of crypto essentially in the United States right now. And I don't think that's going to be changing anytime soon. They do have the power to influence any centralized bottleneck in the United States. So that is my thoughts on why Gary is in big trouble. Obviously, what I think is that Gary's just a little puppet and he's just doing what his overlords are telling him to do. Um, I've been saying this for a very long time, especially even before all of this had happened even with the ETFs like years ago. So I don't know, let me know what your th thoughts are on this. Um, please, if you do want to check us out, you want to see what we're buying, what we want to see what we are selling, and you want to see what coins we are into, definitely check out learningcrypto.com. And um, yeah, please like and subscribe. Hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.